Hello everyone and welcome back to New Tech. Today we are going to compare the WearFed GT106 versus Lenfo F9. As you can see we have both of them here in our channel being unboxed and showed you how to connect it. So if you are interested to see that first go ahead in our channel you will find the video when we unbox them and show you how to connect it. Also we compared before the F9 with other smartwatches. Today uh, we are going to compare the Wear Fit with the F9 ver by showing you some specifics of them first. We are going to see the menu, see and test the software of them. We are going to test some of the options that we see in the menu and then we are going to discuss about the good things and bad things that they have. So let's begin with the Wear Fit first, see what we got and come back to the lamp for F9. The GT106 has a 1.8 inch touchscreen. In, the, in this smartwatch we have many futuristic like always on standby display, multiple health caring like burn calories, heart rate, step metering, blood pressure, blood oxygen, etc. Also we have 7 different sport modes that we will see in a bit. So you can see the GT106 is not like a regular smartwatch that we unboxed before, it has plenty of futuristic and options in the smartwatch. So these are just a few things that we said about the GT106. So we are going to go deeply in the menu, see everything that we have here in the GT106, test some of these and in then we are going to talk about both of them as I said in the beginning. So we are going to see what we have in the menu in the settings for health and sports. Let's go ahead see what we got more in the GT106. We have here the first page, as you can see we have this beautiful face of the smartwatch. We can see the heart rate, we have percentage of battery and we have steps. As you saw we have now different faces, we can change it just by pressing it and holding it. It will vibrate to tell you that and now it's ready to change uh, faces. As you can see we have this beautiful face right here, let's go ahead and see the other ones. So we saw we have 5 or 6 different ones, we are going to change it to this and it looks way cooler. As you can see the smartwatch also has this problem that keeps shutting down immediately and you don't have any time screen or anything else to change it so we have to deal with it as you can see in the left we have messages up we have a taskbar with some options as you can see we have torch vibration do not disturb brightness and we have here standby dial down we have the menu in the right side we have steps kilometers and burn calories let's go to the menu see what we got as you can see we have messages heart rate blood pressure blood oxygen sleep and sport in the second page we have browser we have uh, the shooter camera weather alarm clock and stopwatch we have music and search so you can see this smartwatch is pretty simple so it's very easy to use from everybody let's go ahead and test these options that we saw and try what we have here and try these options as you can see we have now here the watch in our hand it says good it's very flat and it looks really good let's go now to the settings down here and we have heart rate first so let's go ahead test that as you can see we have a very beautiful theme of heart rate going while it's testing and we have now the result here as you can see that's not too bad 
that wasn't too fast but not slow either let's go now to the blood pressure and test that as well and we have final results you can see right here in the bottom and I like it I like this theme of the measurements that is going very very colorful and very good let's go to the blood oxygen now let's test that as well you can see now the percentage of blood oxygen honestly these results are really good not too fast but that's okay let's go now to the sports as you can see we have here different sports starting from running cycling the walking we have basketball football and badminton let's go for walking and as you can see immediately when you touch it it will start the seconds in the bottom here we have heart rate steps and burned calories I don't think we have anything else to test here here in the sports let's test one more time we have here running and these works perfect all of these is are working really good. Lampo F9 has a 1.3 HD screen with 200 milliamp hour battery and nine different sport modes. It has health caring as well like heart rate, blood pressure, sleep monitoring, etc. And we are going to test these all in this video and then we are going to compare it as I said with a GT106. So as you can see the F9 has pretty good options it works well so we are going to see how it works the menu with all of these that i mentioned and we are going to test it so now as you can see we have here the lampo and we saw some specification about it so let's go ahead and see what we got here as you can see in the first page we have the time date we have the percentage of battery right here the bluetooth here or the connection sign we have steps, burn calories and the last heart rate as well. Next we have steps and burn calories and kilometers. We have here heart rate, we have blood pressure, sleep, sport, messages, timer, fine phone, theme, brightness and we have turn off. So you can see we have quite a few options, not too many but enough so you can use it every day as you can see we can change the theme and we can change other stuff also we can raise the brightness which is a really a good thing from the lamp in the smartwatch because too many smartwatches don't have this uh, option the brightness is always low so you can't raise it so let's go ahead see and test these options that we saw right here test the health caring and the sport and see what we got from the the smartwatch let's go ahead now test these options that we saw first we have the blood pressure let's test it as you can see the results are here not too slow but average as you can see the results or real good we have vibration to tell you the final result and that is a benefit for the smartwatch let's go now to the blood pressure as you can see again the results are pretty good fast enough let's go to the sport as you can see the first one is running let's try this one and the vibration to tell the distorting we have the heart rate going the seconds and we have the steps as well not too many option we have more option in the other smartwatch but it's okay 
so you can see everything works perfectly in the smartwatch as well and I don't have anything else to test so let's go ahead and bring another smartwatch here and talk about them so as you can see we are back we saw the test being done and now we know with what we have here work to do we saw the wear fit being tested and the F9 as well we saw that they both work pretty good we have some good things and bad things in both of them starting with the F9 as you can see the screen is not that bright also not that colorful oh, and it's not touch screen in the GT we have touch screen full brightness and we have pretty good colors but they both have one downside that they keep shutting down immediately when you press them as you can see right here it will shut down immediately so that's a downside in both of them and one thing that i like from the f9 are these bands as you can see these are metal bands not like the regular smartwatches rubber bands you probably can change bands in the watches but these are default or from the factory comes like this and metal one and I like them very much so I don't think I have anything else to test here or show you comment down below which one do you think is better for myself I will choose the GT comment down below I will read all your comments so that will do for today's video if you have any questions suggestion feel free to comment down below and we will try to replay to you all thank you very much for your time and support hit the like button subscribe our channel and we will see you in the next video.